Martin. I've got some great news, Jeff. Not now, Marty. Look. What? Oh, sorry. Yes. You kept that quiet, didn't you? I'm the spider. Welcome the irrepressible and unpredictable, and I do adore them. It's Vic Reeves and Bob Mortimer. Fair enough, fair enough. Well, lovely to see you. And congratulations, Randall and Hopkirk. Huge hit. We love it. Don't we love that? Yeah! It is fantastic. Oh, and thank a, you, Dale. And a brave thing to do. And I have to say, does this mean now that Vic and Bob are now lovies? We're doing serious acting here. It's a lot of fun, Dale. Now, it looks, it looks, it's fantastic. Because <laughs> there's always that thing, you know, when, when it comes back from the 60s, you think, well, it'll never be as good, but it's ten times better. Well, it's not supposed to be retro, it's not supposed to be the 60s, it's supposed to be like any time. Well, it's very good, it's very good. <laughs> the other thing is that um, Vic Reeves, of course, now, we all know it's not your real name. Your real name, of course, Jim Moyer. Yes. Um, why? And why that name? Because when I first started, when I first did The Big Night, I, was, I took over a comedy club. I didn't have a clue about comedy, I didn't know who to book or anything, so I thought I'm going to have to do it myself. And You don't have to book anyone. I know, I found that out, so <laughs> I did it myself. But I thought, Jim Moyer isn't a particularly good name for comedy, and people can't pronounce Moyer particularly well. They say Moir and right. Moir. <laughs> so uh, it was, it was a, it was a toss-up between Craig Wildfowl <laughs> and Vic Reeves. I was only going to do one night, but it, it, it was quite popular, so... Uh, you used to put your dry cleaning in and that as Vince Bell. No, Jim it? Bell. Jim Bell. Because I used to take my dry cleaning in and if I said Jim Moyer, they'd go, oh, uh, what? Mo how do you spell that? And I'd say M-O-I-R and they'd say, no, that's not how you spell that. <laughs> that's good, so you picked a name so which I is dead Bell, easy. So I thought you know, Ding Dong Bell they used to call me. Is that right? No. <laughs> You see, I sit there bewildered watching shooting stars. I love it. I love the whole thing. But I am useless at the song, right? The club Which is song. The club song sang drunk after a pub lock-in. And I'm sort of like watching this thinking, what on earth is that song? And I've never got it right yet. So would you do me the honour, and it's awful putting you on the spotlights, would you do one for me now that I can try and decipher? And I'll even attempt it in front of the audience, because I'm, I'm hopeless at this. Well, you, you know quite Go a bit on, about do music, one. don't you? <coughs> well, no. Well, yes, a bit. I know a fair You do, because Bob met you on Ology, and you, you were talking about <laughs> music. And we you, were, yes. And he said that you knew quite a lot. Did I? We did, mate. Uh, that's the last time I saw Dale, was it? Yeah, uh, at the airport. At the airport. I was yeah. serving tea, and you were on... <laughs> <laughs> you were on trolley duty. <laughs> I do trolleys well. I do trolleys well. Go on, do one then, Jim. Did you get that? Um, I'm getting Batula Clark. No. No? Am I close? No, where near, mate. Do you want to do it again, slightly more sober? No. Oh. <laughs> um, ooh, that is really... Is it a Beatles song? No. No, I'm not. You're way out, Dave. Let's find out what it was then. I'm way out. It was. Shall I tell you what it is first? Sing it, man. Close to the edge, down <laughs> by the river. Close to the edge, down by the water. Seasons will pass you by. I get up. I get down. <laughs> yeah. Wait, how many people know that? I don't know that one. <laughs> I've never heard of that one. It's Close to the Edge by Yes. Oh, please. Yes. <laughs> 1971 top progressive rock album. Yeah, but it's an album track. On that, you do singles. Yeah. All right, then I'll do oh, another one. All right, do another one. Go do another one, then. Tragedy. <laughs> Tragedy. Yeah. Tragedy. <laughs> That's more your level. No. Forget yes. Forget <laughs> gentle giants in the ground, dog. Good. Now, listen, being an artist, you see, I've got... I've got, I've got a space on my wall that needs filling. <laughs> oh, now stop. <laughs> uh, 
Um, I happen to know, I happen to know that, Vic, you are a brilliant artist. I'm you not Ralph Harris, so I'm not going to sit you know. No, no, but you do it. But would you do something? It doesn't, how, it doesn't matter how good or bad it is. What do you mean? Do you mean what, shall I do you? Oh, go on, would you? I'd like to ask, would you? Would you? And then, just do, I want to see what it, because I, I promise you, <laughs> I'll put it up on my wall. Uh, you know, well, have you got a couple of hours? No, no, well, I'll talk, I'll talk to you. Well, no, come on, Bob, I want to ask you something as well, because while, while he's doing me, you know, it was always Victory's Big Night Out. And then, <laughs> you just carry on. You just carry on. And then it became Vic and Bob. Yeah. At what point did it become and Bob? It was just the second, the, the second series was, the first series was all about Vic being a bully and trying to run his own mm. show. So it was, you know, it was Vic Reeves' Big Night Out. The second show was, was, uh, really? <laughs> Is that big? <laughs> what are you looking at? It's very good, Dale. Is it very good? It's very good. Do you need an orange pen? <laughs> Of my face. <laughs> I'd say, make me look like Lewis Collins, and they thought I meant Joan Collins, and that's why I look like this. Not doing this morning, quite honestly. Have you finished yet? I'm getting fed up with this. Yeah. Come on, I want to say I can't wait. It looks like someone, but I don't, not see, I don't see that person. <laughs> this is supposed to be me. I cannot wait. <laughs> is it you? I don't know. Let me have a look. <laughs> Is that a no then, darling? Well, I could you're moving around a lot. Do you want to see this? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> What's that? What is that? That's the gem. Now, that, that's my chin. What's that? There is that orb like there. chin you've got there. My orb like chin. There's a coin hidden in there. Is it, yeah. It's a ping pong ball that's been attacked with a 2P. It's very nice. It's very nice. Lovely. And I think that's. Give me a round of applause. I think it's wonderful. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Before you go, and, uh, and I want to mention this. I've got, what have I got under here? I've got a frying pan. Now, you see, I you, I've, I've seen you do this so many times yes. before, and I find this really hard to believe that you're not battered and bruised. So no, it does hurt, Dale. If that's... <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't know. Can you show me what you, you want to see? What they do, don't you? I've got to see this for real. It's just because I would like. I don't care who batters who. He batters whoever, however, which way round you do it. I don't mind. Shall I do uh, you first? Would you do me, please? Darling? Certainly. That was lovely, isn't it? I've got, I've got, I've got to see this. You ready? No way! <laughs> That's the kind of thing. You try. You try it, Dale. I can't. I can't. What do you mean? Hit what? Honestly. You're not hitting me with that. Right? People like you. <laughs> that was brilliant. Can I have a go? Can I have a go? Can I have a go? Do you want to do it? I've got, I've got to do this. I've got to do this. <laughs> brilliant. So you, you were... <laughs> oh, I quite like it. I quite like it. I found a new toy. It's fabulous. Listen, thanks for coming along. Thank tonight. you, Thank you. You, are, you are wonderful. And listen, we are going to play your song now, aren't we? All oh, right, lovely. Which, which, is, which is fantastic. It's the theme from Randall Hopkirk, here performed by David Arnold and Nina Person. <laughs>